Yesterday, I spoke about the half full, half empty, well, way of living through life. And I used the car's fuel tank as an example. Now, this could also apply to, you know, charging your phone, charging your appliances, or if you've got an electric vehicle, even letting that run below half. You're going to put yourself into a situation that, that's just going to be, well, there's no point in putting yourself into it. Now, as I ended the video, I mentioned about people who do live the, the, the glass half empty way of life and how we often hear them complaining and murmuring and, and, and thinking that everything is going absolutely wrong for them. Now, today I want to just go further into that quickly and I want to talk about people that you know aim to live until they're 100 years old, but they don't live. They haven't lived. They're living the life of safety and security and they're not taking a risk to do what they want to do, get to where they want to get to, make their life better whilst they're young and they've got the energy to do so. So their goal is to live as long as they can and the body doesn't live as well as it does when we're younger. So the way I, I look at this is, is it not better to live a life full of adventure and exploring and challenging and going through discomfort so you can grow? Sure. You might live younger, you might get to 60, you might get to 70, 80, it doesn't really matter. Hell, you may live that positively and that courageously that you might get to over 100. The point here is, would you rather live to 100, huddled in a corner and, 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 and thinking the world is falling apart, you every, or falling apart around you every single day? Or would you rather, you know, go after what you want, challenge the bullshit stories that you've got going on, the negative beliefs, and the stuff that is holding you back, all those fears and insecurities, and maybe get to 70, 80. Wouldn't that be such a better life that is just so full? Have we all heard of the angel's share? Like whiskey makers around the world, when they store their whiskey, there's the angel's share that goes missing. So some of the whiskey evaporates while it's in its casks, in its barrels, and up to 1% disappears. And whiskey makers call this the angel's share. It just disappears. And you can smell the scent of it in the, in the distilleries, but it isn't to be found. It's gone. Well, the way I look at it is if you live a full life, a great life, you know, one through experience and adventure and learning through lots of so-called mistakes, well, the soul's going to take a share. I'll, I'll call it the soul's share. So... Like I said, live it with adventure because no point in getting to the end and you're one miserable son of a bitch that just complains about living.